Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a scorpion. Here's what it looks like. I've already warmed up. It's a position that the top girl or flyer pulls in the air um, in a stunt in cheerleading. And normally I wouldn't teach you guys stuff like this because it's more dancerish and I'm a tumbler and cheerleader and I don't really know how to dance even though I know some cheerleaders or most cheerleaders do, but I kind of suck. So I thought that it'd be kind of a bad idea to do stuff like this, but then I was thinking more and I was like, well, I do know pretty much how to pull it in the air, I stretch for it, I learned it, and I think mine's pretty good. So I was like, okay, maybe I should do more than just backflips. So I'm going to teach you how to do something in the air now. Well, you're, you're not in the air, but you know, it's something to pull in the air. And I'm going to show you the proper stretching techniques and stuff to try and get it. And just letting you know, I'm not a coach or anything. I just like decided to show you guys this because I've gotten a few requests in my thought. What the heck? So, anyway, so I'm going to readjust the tripod and show you, like, good, proper stretching techniques to try and get it. One sec. Okay. Hey, guys. As you can see, I am awkwardly perched in the middle of my foyer on a mat, but it's the best lighting and kind of the best open area. Well, it's not really the best, but whatever. I like the lighting, and I thought it was a good setting. So I'm going to show you guys how to stretch for a scorpion right here. So, the first thing you want to do is figure out what leg you have to stand on and for us to your, our to your, we have to stand on our right leg in our liberties which is when you want to be pulling your scorpion or if you're in a torch um i don't know if you u.s people have different names for it but anyway so i stand on this leg which means i pull this leg back which means that it's going to be a right split so that's the leg i'm going to stretch out there's not really a need to stretch out your left split unless you you know just want to <laughs> okay so you're going to go forward for a few seconds and then you're going to go back for a few seconds. And forward again. I'm kind of rushing it a bit but because I know how to do it. And I'm just, when you do it, you want to like slow it down and everything. Okay. So then you're just going to slide in. Hold it for 10 seconds. I do have my splits, but even if you don't, you can still get your scorpion. I had my scorpion before I had my splits. But it's good to be flexible. I stretch. Not really at home, but I chill anything. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to, this is kind of awkward, but it really helps. So, you're not going to be up on your knees, you're just going to be flat on your knees. You're going to stick one leg out behind you, and you're going to keep its knee on the ground, but you're going to grab the, the toe, and with this hand, then you're just going to try and touch your head, try and touch it to your forehead. And you're just going to hold that, like, not this, but what I just did for, like, 10 to 30 seconds. If you can do it, come as close to doing it as you can. Okay, so I'm going to hop back onto my knees, and I'm going to slide back into my splits, because you kind of need to, you know, keep doing things, get your body warmed up. Try to point your toes. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to do yet another stretch. Okay, so this one's kind of awkward as well, but you're going to, so just here, I'll just teach you from your knees. So from your knees, you're going to go onto the side like that, you know, how you're sitting at school and stuff. Take one leg out in front of you and put the other behind, but keep it bent and just kind of reach it to your bum. And yeah, hold it like that. This kind of stretches this area, which is important. I don't know where I learned this, but it helps. Actually, you know what? I was in Starbucks one time and I was just like fooling around with my score, but not actually doing it, obviously, because that would be embarrassing. But then somebody came up to me and then she just gave me this tip and she's like, you know, it gets really better if you do this. So I did it and it worked. Okay, another really important thing to stretch is your back because if you notice you are arching your back a lot by bringing that one foot back. So I'm just going to really quickly show you how to stretch your bridge. You should probably know how, but okay. So you're going to go on your back, push up, and lift one leg at a time. Then you're going to walk it in, walk it out. Go back down and roll. Okay, so next, that, that's like mostly all the ground stretching you want to do, but I'm going to raise the tripod again and I'll meet you guys in a second. Hey guys, okay, now that we're up again, I'm going to teach you some stuff that you can improve your scorpion um, standing up. 
So first of all, you want to stand on the leg. For me, it's my right leg, as I told you. And you're just going to practice squeezing and locking everything out and making it really, really tight because that's what people are always telling me to do. And like, I even got like comments in my videos once where they're just like, okay, lock your leg and stuff because, I don't know. Just when you're in liberties, lock your leg. And squeeze really tight. You're just going to practice lifting your foot up and down just to get the feel of standing on one leg and keeping everything really tight. Okay, then you're going to go to a staircase. This is kind of the reason I did it here. And you're going to grab onto about the fourth stair. And you're going to take the foot you have and take your hand out and just grab the toe. And while you're holding on to the steps, put your foot as close to your head as you can. Not as far up as you can, which looks prettier, but as far to your head as you can. I don't know if this camera runs out of memory so fast. Okay, anyway, so I was at the very awkward pose where I was like that, right? Yes. And I know it looks awkward, but if you can figure out what I'm doing, it helps so much. So once you're really stretched out like that, you're going to actually try it. And it really helps to have a friend come and give you your foot. Unfortunately, I don't have any people like that right now. But if you want to ask your friend, like, can you hand me my foot? It sounds odd, but it helps. So you're going to try and bring your foot up with this hand. Then reach all the way back. Grab the two of this hand. And go up. I hope this helped. Okay, bye.